All right, guys, how's it going? KCV3 here again with some. Um, this is guess another gameplay for you. Um, this is actually my first commentary doing this, and uh, yeah, I'm enjoying Fallout 4 so far. I uh, just um, found this uh, one of the many locations that you discover here in the wasteland, and um, it's uh, like I said before, the game to me honestly is pretty good. Now I think I put around a good probably 15, 20 hours at this point. Uh, currently I'm like at a level 19, 20-ish, and right now, currently this video is being made right now, it's, uh, probably, a I'm at a level 16, 17-ish, um, yeah, and like I said before, uh, you know, I haven't really experienced, I experienced some, some glitches already, uh, there was like, uh, my, um, my partner there, or my sidekick name is, uh, Piper, if I'm not mistaken, and she sometimes you know can't get through the walls or can't get through the door she'd be stuck into the walls and stuff like that and yeah you can see definitely see some glitches in here uh but that's what pretty much Vanessa games usually have uh you know for big open world games like skyrim uh, oblivion fallout new vegas and fallout 3 they always had that type of scenarios and this type of weird glitches that kind of rake your head like you know what's going on but that doesn't shit that shouldn't um get you or they shouldn't stop you from playing the game you know overall you know they do a lot of good stuff in here that overcome the bad stuff uh so pretty much just this whole area right now i'm exploring and it's sort of like a um pretty much a abandoned some like abandoned type of laboratory and um pretty much i met a robot that uh that i met after i opened the door and um Pretty much it led me into this one room where I had to actually escape, found a way. It was like a test, I guess. It's uh, pretty much determining me for me to escape out of the room. Um, you know, find another way to actually get out of that room they, that she, well, the robot trapped me in. Because pretty much they trap you in this one room and pretty much you um, are locked and you have to find a different way. So, I mean, that was actually pretty interesting. I never acquired anything like that before. Um, so yeah, so for the most part, like I said, again, I'm enjoying this game. Uh, if you have played the game so far for Fallout 4, let me know how long, how long you played it, or side missions you did, um, and you, did you make any, um, interesting characters, because the characters in the game is actually pretty interesting. Um, uh, I only beat two side, oh, not side, not side missions, I beat two main missions, which is the first two. And, you know, I just got drowned in by the uh, locations, which required me to get some stuff for uh, loot, which required me to craft my uh, weapons and armor, and which led me to more side quests and factions and stuff. So, I mean, I'm having a blast. I'm just trying to, you know, you know, try to play the best way I can and just enjoy the game for the most part. So, uh, that's it. Let me know what you think about this game. Let me know what you think about this video. And enjoy the rest of the, uh... Here 
is your jumpsuit and mop. Please take a moment to dress in your proper work attire and follow me into the clean room. The research staff will greet you on the other side of the clean room. And welcome to the team. Please enter the clean room. I have been instructed to inform you that Director Elwood has issued mandatory overtime due to uncompleted milestones. Consequently, staff will not be allowed to leave the labs until the piezo-nucleic lining project has been completed. Please report to the project lead, Dr. Elwood Woolen, for specific contamination assessment. Starting decontamination sequence. 